As you can see here, I have opened all the scenes in Blender. We shall start with rendering the preview of scene 01. Go to Render Properties. Scroll down to Film and expand it, to make sure that Transparent is checked. Go to Output Properties. Click here, to open File Browser. When this window pops up, just navigate to the location where you had put the main folder for this project. Here it is, go to Blender Scenes, then open Frames folder. Now here in the Frames folder, click on this icon to create a subfolder. Rename it to, Scene01. You can abbreviate the name for neatness. Open the folder, and down here, give an appropriate name that will be assigned to all the images in the sequence. Now click on Accept. The file format should be in PNG, and make sure RGB Alpha is selected. Switch to Layout Workspace. Go into Camera View by pressing 0 on the numpad. Go to Shading, set Color to be Random. Check Cavity and set Type to be Both. Click here to hide overlays. To render this camera view in the viewport, go to View, then Viewport Render Image. This is just to confirm if the image has alpha or not. Now you can go to View again, Viewport Render Animation, then wait for the animation to render. Rendering the preview is usually very fast, as you can see. Bring in scene 02, we will do the same thing we have done with the previous scene. Go to Render Properties. Scroll down to Film, to make sure that Transparent is checked. Go to Output Properties. Click here, to open File Browser. Navigate to the main folder of this project. Go to Blender Scenes, then open Frames Folder. Click on this icon to create another subfolder. Rename it to, Scene02. Open the folder, and down here, give an appropriate name that will be assigned to all the images in the sequence, and click on Accept. The file format should be in PNG, and make sure RGB Alpha is selected. Switch to Layout Workspace, and go into Camera View. Go to Shading, set Color to be Random. Check Cavity. Set type to be both. Click here to hide overlays. Go to view, then viewport render image and confirm if the image has alpha or not. Now you can go to view again, then viewport render animation, wait for the animation to render. Bring in scene 03. Go to Render Properties. Scroll down to Film, to make sure that Transparent is checked. Go to Output Properties. Click here, to open File Browser. Navigate to the main folder of this project. Go to Blender Scenes, then open Frames Folder. Click on this icon to create a third subfolder. Rename it to, Scene 03. Open the folder, and down here, give an appropriate name that will be assigned to all the images in the sequence, and click on Accept. The file format should be in PNG, and make sure RGB Alpha is selected. Switch to Layout Workspace. Go into Camera View. Go to Shading, set Color to be Random. Check Cavity, and set Type to be Both. Hide Overlays. Go to View, then Viewport Render Animation. 
wait for the animation to render. Bring in scene 04. Go to render properties. Scroll down to film to make sure that transparent is checked. Go to output properties. Click here to open file browser. Navigate to the main folder of this project. Go to blender scenes, then open frames folder. Click on this icon to create a fourth subfolder. Rename it to scene 04. Open the folder, and down here, give an appropriate name that will be assigned to all the images in the sequence, and click on Accept. The file format should be in PNG. In this scene, it doesn't matter if RGB Alpha is checked or not. Switch to Layout Workspace, and go into Camera View. Go to Shading, this color is already random. Check Cavity and Set Type to be, both. Hide the overlays. Go to View, then Viewport Render Animation, wait for the animation to render. Remember to save these Blender files. Let's jump right into After Effects. I am using After Effects CC 2019, because my computer hardware seem not to handle the newer versions. That should not matter, because the steps we are going to take here will work if you have a newer or even an older version of After Effects. Create a new composition. Name it, Star Channel Main. Width and height, should be 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame rate should be 30. Set the duration to be 16 seconds. It's now time to import the image sequence we have just rendered from Blender. Go to File, Import, then File. Navigate to the Frames folder where all the Image Sequence subfolders are located. Start with Scene 01. Click on this first image, make sure that PNG Sequence is checked, and click on Import. Import the remaining image sequences with the same procedure. Select all the image sequences, drag here to put them in a folder. Name the folder to, Scenes. Select and drag each image sequence down here, in order to put them in new compositions. Go to, Star Channel Main Composition. Drag and drop the scene's compositions, then offset them to fill the whole timeline.
kindly save your work. Navigate to the main folder of this project, go to video. Call it, Star Channel Animation. If you click on Toggle Transparency Grid, you can see indeed these scenes are transparent. In this scene 02, I would like these detail objects to also spin around slowly. Go back to Blender and bring in scene 02. Enable Overlays. This is the details object we want to spin slowly. This is the empty object used to offset the details. Select the details, shift select the empty object. Control P, set parent to object. On Z rotation, type, hashtag sign, frame, multiply by negative 0.005. Get into Camera View. Click here to hide overlays. Go to View, Viewport Render Animation and wait for it to render. This should replace all the frames that were rendered earlier. Jump back to After Effects to find out if Scene 02 got updated. If you don't see the update, go to the Project Panel. Right-click Scene 02 Image Sequence, Replace Footage, File. Navigate to Scene 02 Sequence Folder. Click on the first image, then Import PNG Sequence. On the other hand, if you have a decent computer, you can render the material preview of the viewport. You again just go to view, then viewport render image, or animation. You can notice that this one takes much longer on my side. This method is better for rendering out a preview animation in Blender.